You've known me all these years. I first interviewed you in 1990. First time it was in a uh, Holiday Inn in Decatur, Alabama. The thing that frustrates me the most is a lie that is told that Republicans are racist, sexist, misogynistic, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic. Every two to four years, every election cycle, poor Mitt Romney had resumes of women and was accused of misogyny. It couldn't meet a nicer guy in your life, right? It, it now, all the hypocrisy, Hillary takes money from countries that practice Sharia. They take money from Weinstein. Everybody I know in Hollywood says this was an open secret, how abusive and horrible this man was. The casting couch is not a new concept. It didn't matter that Bill Clinton treated women horribly. They still voted for Bill and Hillary. I'm tired. Why the double standard? Well, well let me say, first of all, that Ben Dominich at the, in the Transom, which is a great daily blog, uh, pointed out two things. One, if Hillary had won, this would still not be a story because they would have smothered it because it so directly brings back up Bill and Hillary. And so in that sense, this is a story that could only emerge uh, when you had somebody new in the White House. Two, in the old days, people like Weinstein, and, and this, this will make an amazing movie or an amazing novel, people like Weinstein, not just, it's not just him. There were people who had the power that they could go to the various news publications and, and the various uh, women's publications and say, I can get a star to be the cover of your next magazine. Now, do you really want to pick a fight with me? They owned them. And what has happened, is, as Dominic points out, is with the democratization of media, there are too many small people out there to bribe. And so all of a sudden, somebody comes along and says, Twitter, I'm Facebook. Willing, I'm willing to do, I'm, I'm willing to report this, and you can't do anything to me. I think what's interesting is, this is going to, this is, and this is part of an ongoing process. You're going to see Hollywood now, I think, come apart at the seams, just as you're seeing Silicon Valley come apart at the seams, because all of a sudden, it becomes inappropriate for economic power to, co to coerce and blackmail and bribe people that it has been exploiting. There's a there's an ugly, hypocritical underbelly here, though. The left will tolerate the sins of the left. Hollywood celebrities tolerated the sins of the Clintons because of what their politics were. Any conservative, they, even if it's not true, they'll go forward with the fierce feigned outrage. Look, I, I think what gets to people like you and me and to most of our, of our audience is the left is determined to say that they are morally superior. And that's what makes their, you know, the, 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 they have to come in and say, whatever the topic is, you're a bad person. Not just you disagree and you're a conservative, you're a bad person. And as you said, they then come up with all these nasty big terms. Uh, and, and I just saw a study that the next generation of college professors, people under 35 today, are 12 to 1 Democrat. 12 to 1. Now that says to me, the campuses are gone. And these are all people who walk around smugly saying, I'm morally superior and you must be inferior because after all, you don't believe what I believe. Do you think they really deep down in their hearts know how hypocritical they are? No. That's what's You're frightening. Right? I think these people are totalitarians. These are the people that Orwell wrote 1984 about. These are people who believe sincerely in their right to crush you. And sincerely, they can, but they'll tolerate the sins of their own. They'll tolerate well, a double. Because, you know, it's like Leonardo DiCaprio is a big green guy. He's, it's not enough to celebrate New Year's Eve once with a private jet to Australia and then a private jet to fly back to Vegas so you get to celebrate it twice. And then, of course, you can buy carbon offsets, which is the equivalent of buying, you know, a diamond watch, ring, and necklace if you're unfaithful to your wife and say, oh, it's just an offset, honey, no problem. That's right. That'll work. I which think... a carbon offset is, oh, I can sin all I want. I can put out all the emissions I want, but you got to get rid of your caravan and drive a bicycle. Now, you're not going to jump from there in a mean-spirited way and start talking about Al Gore's swing pool <laughs> yeah. and, and Al Gore's mansion.